Hi everybody. We're going to find the partial fraction decomposition. This one has irreducible quadratic factors. I went ahead and took the liberty of expanding um, x cubed minus 1 using my factoring uh, facts, uh, the difference of cubes here, and I wrote it like this. So what we have is a linear term here, a linear factor, and here we have a quadratic factor. So when we get started, uh, when we expand this, we're going to write this as a over x minus 1. That's the linear. And then we're going to say plus bx plus c here over our quadratic, because we want these both to be proper rationals. Now we're going to clear the fractions by multiplying by our least common denominator, which is always that piece right there. So we're going to do that on both sides of the equation. we do that, that just cancels all of that. So we have to do it on the right side here. Times, let me squeeze it in. And um, this will cancel out and you're left with, so we have over here 2x plus 4. Let me just equal over a little bit. And then uh, we're left with a times x squared plus x plus 1. And then on this uh, this one here, this is going to cancel, and we're left with bx plus c times x minus 1. So our goal is to find a and b and c, and I think the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and let x equal 1. If we do, plug a 1 in here, that equals zero, so that's going to knock out uh, that right there. Because this would be zero times that, it's going to be zero. So I'm just going to deal with this part and plug in one. And we get a, oops, <coughs> excuse me, plus four. And you're going to get a times uh, one squared plus one plus one. So that's going to be three a equals 6, therefore a equals 2. Now we want to knock out the other, so let's let x equals 0. <clears throat> so you're going to get 2 times 0 plus 4 equals a times 0 squared plus 0 plus 1, and then plug in 1 for your x here for the bx plus z plus c times 0 minus 1. So we get uh, 4 equals a, because that not, that's gone away, and this is negative 1, so we're going to get negative b. <coughs> um, we plug in 0 here, so that goes away. Sorry about that. So it's going to be uh, minus c. Now we know that a is 2, so substitute uh, 2 for a, so negative c equals uh, 2, therefore c equals 2. <coughs> the only thing we have to find now is our b, so let's let x equal negative 1. When you do this a lot, it gets easier what to pick. You're trying to eliminate. So we have 2. And we're going to plug in negative 1 plus 4. And everywhere there's an x, plug in negative 1. So we get a times negative 1 squared plus negative 1 plus 1. All right plus, I uh, just need one parenthesis, plus b times negative 1 plus c times negative 1 minus 1. That's just negative 2, and this right here is going to be 2. These two are 0. Negative 1 squared is 1, so you're just going to get a. And we have a negative b here times negative 2. That's just going to be 
to b and then we have negative 2 times c which is minus 2c we already have our a and b so let's plug those in we're going to have 2 equals we have our a and c sorry 2 plus 2b minus 2 and our c was negative 2 so that's 2 equals 2 plus 2b minus 4. So if I subtract 2, that goes away. So I'm going to have uh, add the 4 to both sides. You get 4 equals 2b. Well, this is a plus 4, so it's negative 4. So therefore, b equals negative 2. Now we're just going to plug everything in. So we have 2x plus 4 divided by x cubed minus 1. And our a was 2 divided by x minus 1. Our b was negative 2. And our c was negative 2 divided by x squared plus x plus 1. And that's your final answer. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.